Hey YouTube, thanks for watching and for checking out my channel. My name is Bam and I am posting my second video for the series of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And this is a book by Richard Carlson. Um, it's a book that I've read I think several times over and it's really helped me in terms of uh, growing myself and learning how to, um, I guess, uh, understand myself in life a little bit more. And it's my hope and my intention that uh, as you watch these videos, it'll help you out, especially if uh, you're stuck like home, stuck like me at home, and uh, you know millions of other people all over the world. I, I hope this is something that can perhaps uh, uplift you and your spirit in some way. So here we go, uh, chapter two, making peace with imperfection. So what I normally do is I, I'll read through the chapter and then I'll give a little bit of commentary. That's uh, sort of like a a personal reflection of how it has been true for me and how I've used it to learn. So I hope you enjoy this one. I've yet to meet an absolute perfectionist whose life was filled with inner peace. The need for perfection and the desire for inner tranquility conflict with each other. Whenever we are attached to having something a certain way, better than it already is, we are almost by definition engaged in a losing battle. Rather than being content and great, grateful for what we have, we are focused on what's wrong with something and our need to fix it. When we are zeroed in on what's wrong, it implies that we are dissatisfied, discontent. Uh, whether it's related to ourselves, a disorganized closet, a scratch on the car, uh, an imperfect accomplishment, a few pounds we would like to lose, or someone else's imperfections, uh, the way someone looks, that's the way that they, they look, the way they behave or, or lives their life, the very act of focusing on imperfection pulls us away from our goal of being kind and gentle. Uh, this strategy has nothing to do with seizing to do your very best, but with being overly attached and focused on what's wrong with life. It's about realizing that while there's always a better way to do something, this doesn't mean that you can't enjoy and appreciate the way things already are. The solution here is to catch yourself when you fall into your habit of insisting that things should be other than they are. Uh, gently remind yourself that life is okay the way it is right now. In the absence of your judgment, everything would be fine. As you begin to eliminate your need for perfection in all areas of your life, you begin to discover the perfection in life itself. Um, how does this chapter relate, relate to me? Um, I know that, I think in my own life journey, I have been very hard on myself many, many times. And I always, you know, I don't know if you've struggled with this, where you always want to show an image that you're perfect or that you have it all together and you have it all figured out. And when something is misaligned in your life, it could be that scratch, it could be something that scratch on your car, or something in your home that's not perfect, or imperfections about other people. And it, it totally thro throws you off. It means that you're affected in a way where you get irate, where you get angry, where you get upset. And it doesn't seem like you have, um, well, you lose your, your peace, right? You lose your peace for life. And a lot of people might wonder, like, so what's wrong with that? What, what's wrong with losing my peace? Uh, in my in my work as a as a coach for the past ten years, I've noticed why a lot of people are so unhappy. It's because uh, you know we're so um, uh, we're so uh, uh, I'm looking for a word here. Maybe we're so obsessed with uh, looking at other people's lives that we we don't get to really um, internally like search in our own lives and see what it is that that where the discontent is coming from where all this judgment and, 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 and frustration and anger is coming from. And I would say it normally stems from one thing, which is um, you're really not liking uh, yourself, right? Meaning there's a certain aspects of your personality that you can't accept. Maybe you find, it could be a physical, uh, a physical attribute you have or um, something physical. It could be something... Uh, intellectual or emotional but when you really sort of like dissect this you're gonna find that there's something about yourself that you just don't like and most of the time we become very hard on other people because there's certain things that we can't accept about ourselves so I keep when I whenever I have the opportunity to coach um, I keep trying to remind people as I remind myself that it's okay to not be okay it's okay to have those moments of imperfection um, imagine, and this a lot of people are in this situation, imagine going through your whole life and everything has to be perfect. Everything has to be just so fi you know, fixed the way you think it should be. Um, what's wrong with that? Uh, well, what's wrong with that? I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it, but really the challenge there would be, I'd put it that way, is that life isn't designed to always fall into place the way you think it should, right? So there's always going to be these curveballs. There's always going to be uh, adversity and, and challenges and obstacles that we'll face every single day. 
And it's those of us, I think, who can a a adapt and adjust um, uh, to these challenges who will perhaps, um, I don't know, maybe have, find more meaning and joy and peace in life versus those of us who can't adjust. Uh, case in point here is the, uh, the uh, lockdown, right? The, the global lockdown. Uh, where a lot of our, our lives, um, you know, our, our job security, our financial security, uh, even now our, our emotional well-being, everything is being threatened all at once. Like we're so concerned about what's happening, uh, what could happen or what's happening to us, but we're also concerned about what's happening or what's going to happen or possibly happen to other people. And it's all crashing down at the same time. So that's why I, I say having an understanding uh, 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 having a certain degree of self-awareness and being able to understand your motivations, what's okay with you, what's not okay, uh, what it is that trips you, trips you up, what it is that makes you feel frustrated and angry and upset, that's going to be so helpful in uh, navigating through this pandemic. I hope this chapter helped you in a little bit of my insight. So uh, I think maybe my, my biggest takeaway from this in, in my, my journey uh, of uh, personal growth and evolving was to be kinder to myself was I learned to accept my imperfections. I mean, with these videos, that's why I've been, you know, doing a lot of uh, social media content uh, here on YouTube and in other social media as well, on, on Facebook, Instagram. Um, and it's about sharing that it's okay to make mistakes. It, it, it make mistakes. It's okay to not be okay. And um, to, to be able to find joy, peace, and happiness with your imperfections. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please share the video if it can help someone that you know today. God bless and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.